What's going on everyone? Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having an amazing day. In today's video, we are unboxing and taking a first look at the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. We also have the little clip case that you get free when you order on Samsung's site right now. Let's go ahead and rifle through the specs real quick. We'll get them unboxed, then we'll take a look at the Galaxy wearable app. The retail price on this is $249. I do recommend that you wait for them to go on sale. Galaxy Buds go on sale often. Color options are silver and white. We have a 10.5 millimeter dynamic driver, as well as a 6.1 millimeter planar driver. We're looking at 26 to 30 hours of playback time, including the charging case, and that depends on if you have ANC turned on or off. We have a new design featuring blade lights, 24-bit, 96 kilohertz audio when paired with recent Samsung Galaxy devices, such as the S23 or S24 Ultra, like I have here, the Z Fold 5, Z Fold 6, as well as the Tab S8 and Tab S9 series. And for the first time ever with Samsung Galaxy Buds, we have Galaxy AI. So we have live translation built right into the earbuds. All right, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get the Buds 3 Pro unboxed. Uh, we have the nice clever pull tabs this year. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. All right, let's get them out of here. Top box here. Let's see what's in this top section here. All right, so in that packet, you get your USB-C to USB-C charging cable, a quick start guide, and we have a guide to switch out the ear tips because we have small, medium, and large ear tips to choose from. There was a bit of a controversy when these first rolled out regarding the ear tips, but that's now been resolved by Samsung. And those of you that buy the earbuds now, you don't have anything to worry about. All the latest batches have this corrected. And speaking of those ear tips, make sure you don't lose them because they're kind of embedded in the uh, charging cable section here. And uh, if you just set this off to the side, you'd have no idea that you have extra ear tips to put on. All right, now let's take a look at the star of the show here, the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Here's the uh, case that has this translucent top. It looks a little bit like a car with window tint applied. And looking at pictures, I kind of felt this looked like a cheap Timu knockoff, uh, but having it in person, it does feel a little bit more substantial. Overall, I'm liking it quite a bit. And there's really not much to the case other than the charging indicator light right here as well as the USB charging on the bottom, and then our pairing button. Let's go ahead and take the buds out of the case. Shows a partial charge here. We have separate indicator lights, blue and red. This is gonna match up with each one of these buds. So you have your left bud and right bud, so you always know which side to put them in. All right, let's go ahead and take these out. Now right off the bat, I'm gonna pull my uh, S24 Ultra, and let's go ahead and get these paired up. So right off the bat, my Galaxy device recognized that the Buds 3 Pro were taken out. We're gonna go ahead and connect. We'll just go ahead and walk through this process here real quick. All right, so it looks like it's downloading the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro Manager. I'll go ahead and agree to the terms. I'm just gonna walk through the setup process here so you can see how easy it is. It gives you some info about adaptive noise canceling. So you've got your A and C info right off the bat. It also lets you know of the voice and siren detection feature. This is new this year. And what it does is it detects people's voices or a siren and it puts it into ambient mode so you can pay attention to your surroundings. Basically, it looks like we're all set. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with these earbuds. We'll take a look around at them and we'll take a walkthrough of the app. All right, I am back. First things first, I wanna talk about the fit. The fit is excellent much better than I was expecting for this stem style type of earbud. Uh, I'd put it right on par with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Uh, in fact, I might think these actually stay in my ears just a little bit better, but do keep in mind these are just my initial impressions. I haven't been out like jogging with them or trying to do anything exhaustive, just tinkering around here in the office. So far, no issues with the fit whatsoever. Sound quality. I've got some Metallica queued up. Let me go ahead and play this real quick. Crank this up, plenty loud. The volume uh, is a little on the excess side. That's almost starting to hurt my ears a little bit. Let's crank that down a couple notches. That's more like it. Even that's super loud. Bass response is definitely there. I can just feel Lars Ulrich just pumping that bass drum. The overall tonality is excellent. The rhythm guitars are coming through nicely. A lot of punch with the bass guitar. I mean, Metallica is sounding great on these Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. No concerns with the sound quality at all. The most recent earbuds I've used are the Buds 2 Pro, and I do have to say these sound a little bit better. A little bit more depth on the lower end, probably due to these new drivers. I am really appreciating them. The overall tonality and sound quality is fantastic. 
Now let's take a quick look at all the settings inside the Galaxy wearable app. Remember, the wearable app is where you're going to control all your wearable devices. Like if I swipe over here, it's going to load up all my settings for my Watch Ultra. So it's a real convenient spot to go ahead and control all of your wearable devices from Samsung. So you have some different listening modes here. Off, ambient sound, adaptive, and active noise canceling. Ambient sound, as you would expect, allows you to hear all of your outside stuff uh, while you're listening to music. I find it's done very tastefully. It doesn't have like a robotic sound. Everything sounds really natural when you're in that mode. This adaptive mode, this is kind of new. This basically implements AI to tailor the sound based on the size of your ears. It's taking that into consideration. Your outside environment, as well as the music you're listening to. I've only listened to rock so far. I do like to mix it up usually, but just for testing, I've been listening to rock. And uh, it does a great job of just providing a great overall sound. Like when I'm in adaptive, I don't even feel the need to bother with the EQ settings or anything like that. So that's great. Active noise canceling should speak for itself. And I should also mention when you go into these different modes, if it lets me without a man, looks like I'm going to have to put the earbuds in. Hold on. So it detected when I put them in, automatically switched them over to my last mode that I was in, which happens to be ambient sound. We can pick the level of how much ambient sound we want to come through. When you switch over to adaptive, you don't have any additional settings, but when we go over to active noise canceling, we can also adjust the active noise canceling level and I can barely hear myself talk uh, right now while making this video with this on. I gotta get that turned off. So that definitely does a good job of blocking outside sounds, including my own voice. That was kind of creepy there. Uh, sound quality and effects. This is where you'll enable 360 audio. You can go ahead and adjust your EQ. This is a nine band graphic EQ. And we also have presets as well as the custom option to fine tune each one of these bands. That's pretty sweet. You can also tell it to adjust the sound to your fit. So it'll detect how good of a fit you have and it will tailor the sound to that as well as do an earbud fit test to see if you're wearing the right size tips. We go into earbud controls. This lets you adjust the media controls and it gives you a little walkthrough of what they are. Now, I will have to say, uh, compared to last year's Buds 2 Pro, I am not as big of a fan of these media controls as I was on last year's model. So here, let me show you something. Let me grab the right earbud. So to like adjust the volume, you have to do it on this part of the blade only. Like if you do it over here on the other side, it doesn't do anything at all. And on the Buds 2 Pro, what we used to be able to do is enable an advanced option that let you tap on the top of your earlobe to turn it up on one side, like your right ear, and you can tap on the top of your left ear to decrease the volume. And that worked flawlessly. Like I had zero issues with that. And I do have to say, I much prefer that for volume and media controls over these Buds 3 Pro. I mean, this is kind of blatantly copying Apple. And uh, you know, I'm not too thrilled about that. I'm not the only one not thrilled about it. The CEO of Samsung isn't too thrilled with the Samsung mobile department right now. He has publicly announced that he's pretty upset with the amount of copying that's been going on this year. So it's not just me. So uh, as far as the media controls go, that is the one letdown I'm finding with these. I'll probably get used to them over time, but I do have to say it took me no time at all to get used to the media controls on say the Buds 2 Pro and the Buds Plus. Those are nice, those have little wingtips in them. But I do have to say, I think the sound quality more than makes up for it. The sound quality on these is impressive. We have individual controls for each side of the earbuds so we can switch the functionality for. And we have some options for answering and declining calls as well as some light control features for the blade lights on the side. You can switch from blinking, fade in and out to steady. And then we go into earbud settings. The first thing we have is voice controls and we can go ahead and turn these on and it's gonna give you voice functionality for playing your music, adjusting your volume. Just like right now, I said the word play and it started playing my music. Stop music. Okay, it just stopped, that's great. As well as waking up Bixby if you wanna use a Bixby voice assistant. In-ear detection, you can tell it to switch back to your phone audio when you remove both earbuds. And what's really cool here is you can also pick whether or not you wanna be able to play with one earbud in your ear or to have it stop when you remove one earbud. Read notifications out loud, that's pretty sweet. It's gonna pull up the full app list and you can pick which of these apps you want to have notifications read out loud when they come in for these apps. Seamless earbud connection. So if you happen to own recent Galaxy devices, like the S24, the uh, Z Fold 5 or 6, any devices like that, we now have the ability to seamlessly switch between those devices. 
We can turn on some neck stretch reminders here if you're into that. We also have a lab section here. This allows you to turn on gaming mode. And if we go inside here, it gives you some verbiage here about it basically lowering the latency. This is very beneficial to win your game and you need everything to happen in real time. We can do a factory reset. We have some accessibility features here. We can adjust the left and right side balance, manage all the noise controls on one earbud instead of two, and enable hearing enhancements for ambient sound, which gives us uh, another dialogue here and it's making the volume sound really weird. And it gives you a little bit of verbiage about what this does. Then we have diagnostics at about earbuds. Now, if we go back another screen, we also have Find My Earbuds. I'm gonna have to blur out the top section because the Samsung Find Me feature has recently got updated to get really, really good. Now it pinpoints you right on a map. And not only can you find the Buds 3 Pro, I can actually go through a list of all my Samsung devices and find them right within this Samsung Galaxy Find Me. You can actually load this up separate of the wearable app if you're looking to just use the Find Me functionality on its own. All right, lastly, before I give my final thoughts on the Buds 3 Pro here, at least my introductory thoughts, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, clip case with, uh, I can never pronounce this right, Caravan or whatever you want to pronounce it. Basically, it's just the cover for the case. But uh, you get this free when you order them, at least you do right now. All right, let me go ahead and get this out of here. All right, it comes in this little uh, plastic wrap here. That's all fine and dandy. Looks like you have to push in on this clip to release it. That's nice. That's gonna make sure that the case doesn't fall out of it. Let's see if it's actually hard to get in here. We got some plastic wrapping stuff in here that has our little keychain holder. So that's all nice and dandy. Let's go ahead and slap this case in here, see if it's a big deal. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's not a big deal at all. Yeah, that's great. That fits nicely. Uh, I notice here it opens up the lid once it's seated in here. That's pretty sweet, actually. So you don't have to do like a two-stroke type thing, you know, getting the top off here and then lifting the lid of the case itself. So it does it all in one. So all in all, my first impressions of the Buds 3 Pro are excellent. I like them a lot. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to the funky media controls. But all in all, I think the sound quality makes up for everything. Not a huge fan that they're copying Apple here. I mean, come on, let's be real about it. They look very much like AirPods a little futuristic looking. So I'm not totally sold on the design choice. However, the fit and finish is great. The sound quality is great. Those are the main two things that matter to me. If you have any questions or comments about these Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.